Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? I have for you another one of those clips, another one of those incidents, situations, where a family gets booted off of a plane, a two-year-old child gets booted off of a plane by overzealous, uh, scummy-type people on a power trip. Because the two-year-old pulled the mask down to eat. Look, you can see, look, look. Why sell food and drink if people can't remove their masks to eat? What do you... What do you want people to do? Eat with a mask on. You could... You can't do that. I mean, what do you want? To cut a hole in it? Wouldn't that just completely destroy the whole reason... For having a mask in the first place. I don't get it. I don't get it. But what I do get is the cruel cruelty in the power trip. I can understand that. I can see it. We see it every day. Yeah? There's the child's drink. Or the food pot. The ice cream pot. I don't know what it is. Yogurt pot maybe. There's the child dr- eating. You sell the food. Anyway, look, let's check this out. But there is one twist in this. Is that that pe- the other people in the, the compartment, normally they're quite Karen-y. They're, they're a bit like Karens. Some of them have actually abandoned their Karen-like tendencies and are actually taking the side of the family, which is good because that needs to happen now. You, you really need to stop. Oh, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm going to mind my own business. Because the encroachment into people's lives is so profound now from this this unholy alliance of big tech big pharma mainstream media uh, establishment legacy politicians that their encroachment into your life is now so extreme if you just oh it's got nothing to do with me there's no chance of there's nothing to do with me anymore because it's affecting all of us yeah 15 days to stop the spread now they're throwing two-year-olds off of aeroplanes for eating food that they provided. Anyway, look, let's get into the video. If you haven't yet, uh, please like the video if you find it informative. Subscribe to the podcast, hit the notification bell, and share the video around. That will help us stay competitive with the big multinational corporations such as CNN and MSNBC, who YouTube unfortunately prioritizes. We are deboosted and shadow banned. We aren't the underdogs. We are conservative commentators. Anyway, let's go. What do they do? I told you, non-compliance, we'll have to get off. I didn't want to do this. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry, I want you off. That there is probably the most telling part of this whole exchange. It's only the beginning of it. It goes on for two minutes. I want you off. I, she, you could, she would have walked down the aisle, saw the child eating, and thought, yeah, this is my chance to get someone kicked off of a plane. If if you're that person, if, if you want to do that to an innocent family, to a child who's eating the food that you and your airline provide, then maybe the problem's with you. Maybe the problem's with you, yeah? Non-compliance with the mask. Oh, oh, mask. Oh, oh, mask. Please not worry me. Yeah, so the lady there points out that there's other kids who are eating who haven't got masks on. But for some reason, they single out this family. It's weird how they do that, isn't it? That they'll target only specific people. It's like that they'll put it through a lens of postmodernism. That's why you find that some people get. Um, called out for things or, or targeted for things whereas other people are given a pass for it it's because they're looking at things through a postmodernist lens we're wearing a ball time. guys, is that wearing a mask all the time everybody? I'm sorry but the kids want you I'll make sure he wears it everything's going to be fine I'm sorry I'll make sure that so look, everyone in the plane and I don't think she expected this everyone in the plane is saying look, they've had it on the whole time so she can't respond to that. So all she says is, I'm sorry. Because she, she can't respond to it. So what does that show you? She's being proven wrong 
by innocent bystanders. Yet she doesn't let up. What does that tell you? She's that focused on getting one family kicked off of a plane when there's other children on the plane who also had their max down to eat the food that they provided. Yet she's whole she's just zeroed in on this family. She's like, I wanna get them off. Even in the face of the innocent bystanders. Saying she had the mask on the whole time, she just took off to eat. It's not good enough. It's totalitarianism. If you can't compromise, if you can't accept you've done something wrong then, if you can't say, look, all right, I've got this wrong, just let it go. If you can't do it then, you're the totalitarian. You are an authoritarian. The okay? Nationalist style, uh, two in a row. Right. No, you don't understand. If you understood, you'd be listening to what the other people have to say. Not my choice. Not my choice. Why would you make not my choice. waste time to do this? I'm sorry, but she has to get up and she has to take your stuff and get up. I'm not really, I'm not, no, 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 excuse me, I'm not going to leave until I'm on to understand why you're wrong. I, I have a speech. You want to call your manager, you call your manager. Mass mass policy. Policy. I need to not comply with the mask policy. You said it's not your, it's not you, so who is this? We're done talking, right? We're done talking, but pilot wants you off, you have to get off. Who wants me off? Pilot wants you off. Oh, she's, she's, she's a baby. Pilot, she's a baby. Pilot, she's a baby. I my let's, let's see how she would react if it's her children getting treated like that. You notice that it's always okay when they're doing it to somebody else. It's never... When it comes to them, all of a sudden it's an issue. But so long as they're the ones getting to throw people off, they're, they're okay with it. I, I couldn't do that job. I mean, I could, I could be an air plane like hostess or we're not hostess host but you, but you know what i mean like an air cabin crew but i couldn't tell a, a baby a two-year-old child to get off the plane i couldn't do that she's just turned two a month ago i understand it's five and up what i she i'm trying understand. to wear it she keeps I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. yeah you see so he said oh stop 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 because he understands that talking to her is like talking to a brick wall she's not interested in compromise she's not interested in understanding what actually happened she's likely the one who complained in the first place she's not listening to the bystanders she's just i want to get you off the plane for whatever reason she took an umbrage with this particular family you heard from the other people there that there's other children on board who also pulled the mask down to eat food food that the airplane provides okay but she's zeroed in for whatever reason i personally have my suspicions why uh, and you can probably guess too, but uh, that's my own belief as to why she's, she, for some reason, has singled this family out. And the man, he understands it. That's why he's saying, I'll oh, stop talking to her. Because it's just, you're going to go around in a circle. You're not going to get any logic out of an ideologue. I said, out of the aircraft, I will have to detain the aircraft and call the police. Keep your mask on. Keep it. It's any problem. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to call the police. Have them no problem. No problem. I've got my lawyer on the case. Keep the video going. Yeah, so he said keep the video going. Um, I mean, there's not much more that happens on the video, but it's good to know that people are, are recording this because it needs to happen. That's the one good thing about social media. I know social media has a lot of ills, and you know, it's that they try and promote the ills, but they try and stop the good parts of social media. That's why people get shadow banned and deboosted and all that stuff. Because real power to the people in a real democracy is people getting to talk amongst themselves freely and making decisions. When big tech, and especially most scary of all, government, poke their nose in and they start saying, well, we'll let them speak, but not them. That's not proper democracy. And if you notice, the people who want that are always the ones who shout from the rooftops about the sanctity and dignity of democracy yeah they're always the first ones to 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 um undermine it you can hear other children in the plane and you can tell they haven't got masks on they're probably just eating or whatever but you can hear them i hope that my audio picks it up um, it, it is good audio. Uh, I just try not have it too loud because 
the disparity between my voice and the video as often. I'm going off on a rant. So, it, it, look, it goes on for 10 seconds more, and it's just them just sitting there, look, drinking water. Um, and, and you can tell she, she's drinking it in quite an exaggerated way. You can tell that she probably feels guilty or, or like she's not allowed to do it for drinking water that, that they provide, that they provide food and beverages, yeah? If you've put your own customers or your own passengers in a position where they feel like they can't even move, then then you need to, you need to go back to basics. There's nothing worse than a company that thinks you need them. Yeah? That you need to use their services and you can't go anywhere else. That's why free market capitalism needs to thrive. It needs all the help it can get in the moment. Just, uh, what kind of person does that? Oh, you know, we'll go and single them out. We'll go and throw them off. What, what, whose life are you saving? What good are you doing? None. You're doing nothing. You're not adding to the human experience you're taking away from it anyway i'll leave it there uh let me know what you guys think uh in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you thank you very much for watching we also have a membership scheme i forgot to say at the beginning i do have eight amazing members uh, who honor and humble me that they support the whole cast in the way that they do um becoming a member of the coffee club or the gold club you each and every one honor me that they do that uh you could be member nine. Nine's a good number. You could be number nine. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.